Hello everyone. Let's provide the solutions to this problem very quickly. We are to solve everything as in we are to bring out all the solutions. Okay, we have to x to the power 4 equal to 32. The first step is to divide this by 2 and divide this by 2. So that this will cancel this and x to the power of 4 will be equal to 16, right? Okay, but then do you know that this is the same thing as x to the power of 4 equal to 2 to the power of 4? Okay, so we now have that the bases are the same, right? And the powers are the same. But then let's bring everything to the left. So we have x to the power of 4, okay, minus 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 0, okay. And now from here, let's break this down. This is the same thing as x to the power of 2 squared minus 2 to the power of 2 squared. And then the whole of this equal to 0. And then from here, remember that we can now apply difference of two squares. Okay, if you have um, a squared minus b squared, it means that you should have a plus b and then a minus b, right? Now, I'll apply the same thing here, okay? What we have in the brackets now is considered, um, is considered a, right? So I'll have x squared plus here we have 2 squared okay then we go to the other where we have x squared minus b is now 2 squared okay and everything here is equal to 0 we are applying difference of 2 squares right okay so the next thing is Remember that this is the same thing as x squared plus 4 because, um, because um, how do I call it? 2 squared will give us 4, right? So we'll have this in the first bracket and in the second, this will still appear, right? x squared minus 2 squared. Now, I could have, you know, written this as 4. But then, I also want to, you know, apply difference of two squares here. But do you know that this is the same thing as x squared plus 4 equals 0 or x squared minus 2 squared equals 0? Yes, because at this point, you can apply your difference of two squares. Then, from here, you will have x squared to be equal to minus 4. And then x will be equal to plus or minus square root of negative 4, right? Yes, remember we are solving everything, right? So we have this. Then x is equal to plus or minus. We're going to have um, 4 multiplied by square root of negative 1. What I've done is to bring out the negative from 4 there, so that our x will now be plus or minus. Square root of 4 is 2, and then square root of negative 1 is i. Okay, so from here, it means that we now have our x1 and our x2. So our, let me write this better. Okay, so our x1 now will be 2i. Okay, that is positive 2i, and then our x2 is negative 2i. Now, from the other side, let's get our value, let's get our, you know, other solutions from here. Now, we, we will see apply difference of two squares here. This is the same thing as x plus 2 into x minus 2 equal to 0. You can recall that I have applied this um, difference of two squares before. 
and then from here it means that x plus 2 is equal to 0 or x minus 2 is equal to 0 okay so meaning that x is equal to 0 minus 2 or x is equal to 0 plus 2 x here is equal to minus 2 or on this side x is equal to 2 now we'll bring out again from here we are going to have our x3 and x4 so our x3 now is equal to minus 2 and then our x4 is equal to 2 that is plus 2 now let me bring the four solutions together okay so these are the four values we have x1 to be 2i x2 to be minus 2i x3 to be minus 2 and x4 to be 2 now these two here are the two real solutions while the first two are complex now look at the original equation 2x to the power of 4 equal to 32 right then from here if you want to try you can check to see that um, the real solutions here will satisfy the equation. If we put in minus 2, then we have 2 into bracket minus 2 to the power of 4. Okay, will this give us 32? Let's draw it. Okay, here we're going to have minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2 times minus 2. That is in 4 places. And this will give us um, 2 times 16 because this will give us positive 16 right and then at the end of the day we have 32 meaning that this satisfies the equation then if you go over to the second where you have um, um, x equal to 2 it will be 2 again into 2 to the power of 4 and like we did before this is going to be 2 multiplied by 16 because 2 to the power of 4 is 16 and remember that this bracket means that 2 here has nothing to do with 4 over there. So it's only what we have in the bracket that will raise to the power of 4. So this will now give us 32 again, meaning that um, the second equation here satisfies the original, um, the second solution, the fourth solution here satisfies the original equation. And this is the confirmation that the real solutions here are confirmed but then the first two are complex thank you for watching